Moving on to the fourth metric, market impact. This is actually flavor of the month, and there are two reasons why you should consider it. More or less, you should be aware that it is a fragmented market, so information is key. Information is powerful, and the speed of arrival of your order at different venues is very important to your execution strategy. Specifically, first thing to remember with market impact is that execution information received before your full cycle is complete is valuable and open to abuse. I'll show you that in a second with the graph below. The second thing is your market impact will affect your future pricing. And a lot of your liquidity providers will tell you that today. And if you smack the market and the market runs away immediately, it's unlikely you're going to come back to the same market and see the same spread. So this is why you engage two types of algos, fast algos or slow algos. You can decide what market impact you want to have. So let's look at the, the graphs below. Three sets of data. Um, top line is our TPA aggregator data, which we studied in the white paper. Very benign flow, very soft flow. You see a marginal decay out to the far end of the x-axis, which is two and a half minutes. So pretty benign flow that everyone would like to make. Um, you typically expect that set of clients to see very tight spreads. The one below is an institute is a, a broker and you'll see again slightly lower starting point but very benign soft flow uh, with limited decay out to two and a half minutes. Now the one below which is probably most of you is an institutional client. So you see very sharp decay um, where it crosses break even at 100 milliseconds. Very specifically you'll see a large spike down at 5 milliseconds and another one um, just after 50 milliseconds. Now, if your execution cycle isn't complete, uh, you haven't had a response back from all your liquidity providers, that early decay is vital for you and it's costing you money there and then. It's costing you money on those orders. It doesn't necessarily mean, by the way, that anyone's doing anything wrong. It means that someone has received information on your order, they may have filled part of your order, and they go to hedge it on another venue. That means your order has been broadcast to the market and the market starts to react. No problem, as I say, if you've already been filled on 100% of your order. But if your cycle's still going on, going back to the previous metric, if someone is holding your order, which has already been acted on, then it's just going to cost you money. And it's going to result in either a lower fill rate or greater slippage. So market impact, very important to measure and can be measured for every trade on your portfolio.